Hello friends! This time I'm reading Blue Bison Needs a Haircut, written by Scott Rothman, illustrated by Pete Oswald. To listen to more stories like this, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you! Blue Bison Needs a Haircut Blue Bison liked getting haircuts because Blue Bison liked to look nice and neat for his family and playground associates. But one day, Blue Bison couldn't get a haircut because his barber shop was closed. Everything was closed. The ice cream shop, the supermarket, even that weird store that sold boogie boards for baby bison. The bouncy castle place. Why was everything closed, you ask? Some reason. Blue Bison didn't believe it. Everything can't be closed, he said. Surely everything will open back up tomorrow and I can get a haircut then. But Blue Bison was wrong. Everything was still closed the next day. And the days after that, this made Blue Bison mad. So he rammed his head into a nearby rock. Thud! Hey! Blue Bison's dad, Brown Bison, yelled. That's my ram rock! Blue Bison's mom, Burgundy Bison, told them enough with all the ramming. Enough with all the ramming, she said. But I really need to get a haircut. No, you want to get a haircut. You don't need to. I can cut your hair, said Blue Bison's little sister, Bubblegum Bison. But Blue Bison wasn't listening anymore, because Blue Bison got an idea. Blue Bison went to his barber's home and offered him a deal. Knock, knock. If you give me a haircut super quick, I will give you these tasty and herbaceous grasses, commonly found in prairies, which we bison like to eat. Bison? said the confused barber. I thought you were a buffalo. I get that a lot, as we are both large, horned, ox-like creatures. But buffalo don't have these huge humps on their shoulders, or such giant heads. They also have larger horns, though ours are much sharper. But the barber wasn't listening anymore. This made Blue Bison sad. And when bison gets sad, they wallow, like so. Blue Bison's family and playground associates tried to cheer him up. I think you look great, honey. Yeah, buddy, your hair is fine. I know we are only associated with each other through our time in the playground, but we too enjoy the long length of your hair. I can cut your hair said Bubblegum Bison, who rolled out a lawnmower she found. Blue Bison laughed at the idea of his little sister cutting his hair with a lawnmower because it was so utterly ridiculous. And just by laughing, Blue Bison felt a little bit better. Blue Bison felt so good that he went out and played tag for hours with his little sister. Then hide and go seek then Dolly Smash, before they both conked out for the night. When Blue Bison awoke the next day, he realized that he didn't care what his hair looked like. There were more important things than having nice and neat looking hair. Then Blue Bison looked in the mirror. Ah! 
this. You like your haircut, Blue Bison? Mom and Dad looked at Blue Bison and waited for him to ram his head into something very hard. No, I don't like it, Blue Bison bellowed. I love it! The end. Thank you for watching. I will see you soon with another great story. Please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends. For more videos, please subscribe. Thank you.